when I first discovered that uh, that I had this ability, I had uh, told my friend we were going to see aliens. Uh, I had mentioned that night was pretty uh, uh, spooky, the Santa Ana winds blowing. I said, hey, we're going to see some aliens tonight. I was just joking, of course, but they showed up. And when they did show up, coming down my block, my friend uh, doesn't speak English very well. He said, hey, Robert, there's aliens coming down the street at that well. Ah, he must be kidding. What he meant to say, there's a ship coming down the street. And it was coming down the street, and I was on the second story of this uh, house that I lived in. And it came right at eye level, coming down our street. And it had diamond facets on it. Uh, what caught my eye was it was a 40 mile an hour wind that didn't seem to affect it. It was as if it was on a monorail system. And it whipped around slowly and just went over where I couldn't see it anymore. And when I discovered that, you know, by saying we're gonna see aliens tonight, uh, maybe I'll do it again. And I, I started doing that and they kept showing up. And uh, I said, wow, this is pretty, you know, pretty spooky, but, but, but better, I better have an open mind and uh, see how far I can go with this. I sure didn't want to go public with this, but I made a deal with God or the Creator. And I said, whenever you want me to go public with this and you give me the, uh, the nod to do this, you'll let me know in your unique way then I'll, I'll do my, uh, my best uh, to go public with it. And so I did, uh, I did a couple of things for my friends and sooner or later 40 or 50 people started showing up. And uh, we posted on a show called Third Phase of Moon and he got 150 hits, uh, 150,000 hits in one night. And uh, I took it as a sign that God wanted me to go uh, take it to that level. So I started doing it seven years ago, publicly, at MacArthur Park and other places, and uh, always been successful. I've seen amazing uh, terrestrial ships, and, and uh, what I, I call them angels, but and you can call them whatever you want, but they're surely a very intelligent. And, and, and I don't think we are the superior species on the planet, but, uh, but we're getting there. So um, uh, I'd like to fill some questions. Anybody got any questions out there? Nope. <laughs> uh, keep your eyes out there. What? Yeah, I'm gonna, I already summoned right here on stage. And uh, so keep your eyes to the sky. Like I said, there was one peculiar object up there which was uh, very unusual, but that happens to me all the time. I've done a lot of television shows, talk show, radio shows, and uh, so nobody's dared challenge me to debunk me. So I am very for reals. Um, I don't think in their wildest dreams they ever thought that somebody like myself would come up here and start doing this. Go public in the daytime and do it for free. And where can you get anything for free nowadays? Yes, ma'am. Well, well you, you discern that for yourselves. You know, you can call, you can, you can, have evil come to you and you can have good things come to you what are you asking for it's all up to you you know and uh if it's evil and you can't discern it then you got a problem and if it's not evil then i'm sure that i don't conjure up anything yes I, I got a video of reptilians on my YouTube channel. Yeah, they, you know, they're brothers. The evil ones, they're brothers with the good ones, you know. They know, they both watch each other and they want to know what each other's are doing. 
So when the good ones come, sometimes the, you'll see the malevolent ones come next to them. Yeah, that happens, but they want to know what's up. Yeah. It's UFO Robert being on my YouTube. As 185 videos, you should pay particular attention to Wonton, which shows the reptilians, Abracadabra, which shows their technology, and if you really want to see the afterlife, go to Tango. There's 185 videos, so I, if you want to see Tango, which shows you the afterlife. Houdini was after that for his whole, his whole life and his, uh, before he passed away. He wanted to see the afterlife and he wasn't able to do it, but I caught it on film. Um, so it's all out there. I think my time's up. Thank you very much for giving me an ear. Uh, keep your eyes to the sky for the clouds will tell you why. And as you search for the clues, Master will tell you what to do and he's gonna tell you to keep your heads up. Thank you.